So the other day I was looking on Pinterest and found these cute uh, do-it-yourself ice slash hot cold packs and you fill them with rice so you can put them on your back, your neck, any of your boo-boos, owies, the small ones great for kids. You can put this one on your neck. So I made a couple of them and then I'm going to also show you how I made them um, in this next step. So first off, what I did was I cut my flannel. I've got um, two five by five squares, and then I cut my fabric, again, two five by five squares. We're using the flannel. It helps to keep in the cold and the heat a little bit better than just having just the fabric. Um, the other ones that I did, I, I just kind of figured out what sizes that I would like. The, the long one, I did 34 inches by four inches. That's the one that I would use for my neck or shoulders. Um, the middle one was 12 inches by five inches. Um, I thought it would be good size for putting on your back or putting on um, an ankle or on your knee. So um, I cut up a bunch of the sizes of fabric and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them together and you're gonna lay the fabric, the two the patterned pieces on top of each other so that they are facing each other. And then you're gonna set them on top of one piece of flannel. And then you're gonna set the other piece of flannel just directly on top of it. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my sewing machine and I'm gonna cut around or um, sew around three of the sides and a little in and I'm gonna leave, you know, probably about a two inch opening that I can um, fill with rice. So I went ahead and I used my sewing machine to sew around all four corners. I came over a little ways here and then this whole section right here is left undone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them inside out. So I just, Start working it through with my fingers to turn the fabric out. And then I use some sort of a tool to kind of pull out those corners. This is a, um, a crochet hook. I, I've used just whatever I can find. I've, I've done it with pens and um, pencils before so uh, just kind of push those corners out until it looks more square sometimes I'll even just pull it out with my finger if I can't just get it just right okay so there we have our square and then I'm gonna take my funnel, stick it in the opening. And what you're looking for is, depending on um, how stiff you want it to be, the um, two thirds to three fourths full of rice. So, I'm just gonna pour it right in. Sometimes if you go a little too fast, at least with my funnel, it gets backed up and then I have to wait a little bit. So just pull her a little bit more in. Let's see, I think I'm gonna get just a tad bit more in there. So it's all filled with rice, you know, about two thirds to three fourths full. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tuck these edges under, and then I am just going to stitch with my sewing machine and close that hole up. All right, so I sewed the hole up and as you can see the stitching right there. So now it's all um, sealed and it is ready to use. So I, like I said earlier, I've made several sizes 
And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, cause I've already started using the cold packs, you know, it's summertime, it's hot. Um, when you come inside from working in the garden or something, you can put one of these ice packs on and help cool down a little faster. So I have made one of each size that I can keep in the freezer. And then I have, um, I'm keeping one of each side that I can put in the microwave. Um, uh, I just keep them in the freezer, but they free, they get cold pretty fast. You could leave them in for, you know, 15 minutes and be able to use them out of the um, freezer. Um, in the microwave, what I usually do, um, on the bigger ones you can start out with a, a greater time, but on the little ones I do, I start it out at 15 seconds, then I feel it, put it in for another 15 seconds if it's not enough, and just kind of get the temperature feel. My daughter doesn't like as much heat as I probably would, so with the bigger ones you can start with like 30 seconds and again then just put it in for another 30 seconds if it's not at the right heat that you want. Um, one other thing that I read, at, and I read this after, um, uh, that you could add oils in there, essential oils, lavender or um, eucalyptus. Um, we've used these for um, migraines, put them over your eyes and, and it can help with that. So I hope you like this project and if you have questions or comments, go ahead and I will try and answer them. Thank you.